What is going on? How are you today? In this video, I'm going to be talking about habit formation and why habit formation is even more important than setting your goals or even achieving results. By the end of this video, you'll have learned how to form good habits, but also how to avoid forming bad habits, whether you mean to or not. Let's get into it. Before we get into this first Mindset on the Move video, it is of course Mental Health Awareness Month. And more specifically, Mental Health Awareness Week is from the 18th to the 24th of May this year. Mental health is obviously at the forefront of these Mindset on the Move videos. So just quickly, I'd like to mention Mental Health Ireland, Ireland's longest running established mental health charity, and the Jigsaw Foundation, who offer free counseling services to young people who are struggling with mental health issues. These are obviously great causes, and if you're gonna to donate to anyone during these hard times, it should be the likes of Mental Health Ireland and the Jigsaw Foundation, especially during Mental Health Month. Now, as I said at the start, we're talking about habit formation. Habit formation is crucial to fitness and lifestyle. You can set as many goals as you want. You can have the best plans and the best intentions in the world, to do something, to change your life, to get fitter, to get healthier, to get to your after photo. But if you can't make some sort of system, some sort of habit to get there, you're goosed. You'll never get there. Habit formation is at the forefront of every single goal you set. You have to make it a habit in order to get there. A lot of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about today comes from a guy called James Clear. He's a weightlifter, travel photographer, who does a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff, on habit formation. So if this area interests you, make sure you check out his website, jamesclear.com. Basically, what I wanna go through today is how to master habit formation so that you can make the most of both your mental and your physical performance. One of the main ways of doing this is making simple, actionable strategies. So not just having like a broad, I want to get fitter, I want to have a six pack, I want to start a new diet. Just little by little, set something you're going to do every day. A simple, actionable strategy that you can stick to, that you can turn into a habit, and that will get you closer to your goals in the long run. I'm not saying I figured it out. I absolutely struggle with this. Like I still, I get up, I need to go for a run or something. The last thing I want to do is go for a run. Like, I gotta trick myself into it almost. It takes some serious time to create a habit. But the best way to do it is start with something small, like going for a run or going for a walk every day that you know you can stick through for a long period of time. If you can stick with it for like a week, you're more likely, you're so much more likely to stick to it for good. So if you start with something small, something actionable, like getting up, putting on your shoes at the same time every morning, going out for a run, and stick to that for a week, you'll be on the right track. Strangely, having an overall sense of purpose or something you're working towards is more important than setting a specific goal. So if you're just like, you wanna get fitter overall, you wanna be happier with your body, you wanna make a change for the good, knowing that much, knowing and deciding you're gonna do that is hugely important. Having that sense of direction locked down is crucial. For example, losing weight. So say your sense of direction or your overall goal is to lose weight. Start with that. And then don't focus on a number or what weight you're gonna to get to. Focus on the system of how you're going to get there. So for me, an example at the moment is I'm cutting, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to lose fat. So if that's my overall goal, I need to focus not on how much weight I can shift or what number I can get to on the scales. I need to focus on how I'm going to get there. I need to focus on doing the little things every day consistently to get there. So let's say we're focusing on gaining. We wanna hit the gym when they open again. We wanna get some serious gains in. The goal is to gain muscle, that's the goal. But the system is going to the gym every day, doing the same lifts over and over again and eating right. If you focus on the goal of like, I need to get bigger, I need to get bigger, I need to get bigger, you're gonna get nowhere, you're gonna burn out, it's not gonna work. But if you focus solely on the system of getting there, on getting up at the same time, going to the gym, 
getting good workouts in, applying progressive overload over the time you're training, you will get there. Jesus. There are some funny looking people around the place. Once you've decided on the general direction and the system that's gonna get you there, you need to try and improve by 1% every day. This is a great point that James Clear made in the Art of Charm podcast, or I did go to the gym or I did go for my run. That's the 1% habit improvement. That's a step closer to forming the habit. What we don't think about is what happens when we don't do it. We slack off for a day, we don't go for that run, we don't go to the gym. And we don't tend to think of that as creating a bad habit. We think of it as not doing good. When in reality, if you're not improving by that 1% every day, you're actually forming a bad habit. You're forming a bad habit of procrastination or laziness or like letting yourself away with not going to the gym or not going for your run. If you form that habit of, ah, it's all right, don't worry about it. You know, you worked hard there on Tuesday so you can take Wednesday off. No, you're forming a bad habit. Next time you want to take a day off, you let yourself do it again because you formed the habit. You need to improve by 1% every day, stick to the habit for that first week and then go from there. Another great point brought up by James Clear in that Art of Charm podcast is about how average speed trumps max speed. Now, this kind of doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna try and simplify it because it took me a few times to get it as well because it doesn't, I don't know, average speed, whatever. So let's take, for example, deadlifting you want to get into deadlifting or you're trying to improve your one rep max in deadlifting. If you're aiming for 140, 150 kg deadlift, that is your max. That is your max speed. And every day you go training, the max intensity you're doing is aiming for that 140, 150. Every single day you go in, not resting properly, you're just aiming for that and nothing else. You're going to burn out. You're not going to quite get there. But the dude who has the same goal as you, but he's not focusing on the goal, he's focusing on the system. He's doing 75% one rep max, and then 80%, and then 85%, and he's working his way up over time. He's doing the same lift over and over again for weeks and months. You may get to the 140, 150 deadlift if you're just pushing at that highest level all the time, but more than likely you'll fail, you'll burn out, you'll get disheartened when you can't lift it. Whereas the dude who's just going, week by week by week, getting there over time. He'll pull that weight, no bother. 12 weeks, 24 weeks down the line, he'll be, he'll be going up again. It's about forming a habit, focusing on the system, and continuously doing the same thing over and over. The difference between these precision athletes, these huge guys in the gym, it's, it's not that they're you know, genetically superior or they're taking all the right supplements or they know some secret that you don't. It's that they can handle the boredom of being in that gym every day, doing the same lifts again and again and again, and just steadily going up over time. The difference between you and them is time and consistency. If you put in the same amount of time as them at an average speed, so no one no one's saying you're in the gym every day, all day, and going, you know, look at look at Steve, he's, he's in the gym every day, like, he's, how's he doing? No one's saying that. You're not working at a super high intensity. You're at an average speed that you can maintain for a long time. If, like, like me in this channel, the aim is to maintain that average speed for your life and make life gains as well as gym gains and getting shredded and whatever else your goals are, then if you maintain that average speed for your life, you're gonna trump out anybody along the way who's burnt out trying to get to that over the top one rep max that they'll never reach. Ooh, that was risky. Following on from this, mastering those habits is so much more important than setting a goal. If you set an exact goal, like I'm gonna lift this weight, or I'm gonna go down to this weight, this body weight, or I wanna have six pack abs, and you set that goal and you're so focused on it, when you, when you come up shy, like when you just don't reach it, you're gonna get disheartened. You're not gonna be able to keep the consistency up. When you say, I wanna hit 70 kg by next month, 
And when you weigh in at 68, you're disheartened. You're like, what was the point? I need to give up. Like, you've tried and you failed. The way to think about it isn't about reaching that goal, it's mastering the habit. If you were doing the right thing all the way along, you've made it into a habit, don't aim for a number. Aim for the keeping that system going long term. If you keep that system going long term, it won't matter if you're 68 or 70 kg, over time you're going the right direction. It just means you need more time. This arbitrary goal that you've just set up, you made it up. Nobody went, you need to be this weight by this time. This was just you going, oh, I need to, I need to get to here by next month. And that'll fix everything in your life. No, it's just, that's your own decision. You've made up that goal. When you don't achieve it, you're not letting anybody down. You just need to master that habit so that you can keep it up over whatever length of period. If you're bulking, or if you're cutting over 12 weeks, or you're bulking over six months, if you can keep doing that consistent habit or keep working on that same system over that whole span of time, you'll achieve your goals, 100%. The habit you change, it has to be changed on like a core belief level. You're not saying that you're gonna be healthier for this length of time. You're, you need to believe you're gonna be a healthier person. This habit needs to become who you are. If you want to, if you commit to cutting down to a certain body fat percentage or you commit to a long-term bulk, you need, to, you need to fully commit to it. It needs to be who you are. You need to have the habit of going to the gym, have the habit of eating right. And once you've set those habits, you can just work on those systems over a long period of time. You're not focused on the goal. You're not focused on getting the car, getting the money, getting the girl. You're focusing on just keeping, plugging away at that system over however long it takes you. And you'll get there eventually. One thing I struggle with is making myself do-do habits. If I, if I don't want to do something but I know it's good for me and I need to like drag myself to do it, it's hard, it is. It's, it's, it's almost easier to go get the car or go get the money so that the girl likes you rather than changing yourself as a person or rather than changing your beliefs. And it is challenging. I'm, I'm not make, saying it's easy at all. It's, it's so hard to do. But one thing I found is I need to trick myself. I need to trick myself into doing something. For example, I recently have been focusing on my micronutrients. So I know I don't eat enough vegetables. It's just life, it's just me. I'm not a huge veg person. I've started trying to take green food supplements. I don't know if you've tried this, but it, I don't know. On the packet, right, it said lemon and lime flavor. I was like, Sweet, I can do lemon and lime. Cool. Scoop into the water, mix it up. Grand. Lemon and lime, easy. Big gulp. Like, to call it lemon and lime is like, it's a hate crime. Like, why, why would you, why would you trick someone like that? But anyway, the point is, I didn't want to take that stuff at all. It took like, I first first day I had it, nearly puked. Second day I had it, nearly puked. Third day I had it, guessed it, nearly puked. So how do how do I get there? How do I how do I trick myself into doing it? And the thing I focused on was the system, not the result. So my system was at the same time every morning when I'm having my breakfast, making my fruit smoothie, I'd chuck a scoop of this shit into a glass, mix it up, leave it sit there. It wasn't about me taking it, it was once I had that habit done, once I knew that every morning I was making it, it was like, well, I might as well drink it now that it's here. And I've gone through the whole packet, I'm 17 days or so into taking the green supplements and I don't really notice it anymore. Now it's definitely still not lemon and lime. It tastes like you put a potted plant in a blender, but you don't notice it. You're just, you're just going with it. it. It's a habit now. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about the goal you formed the habit, you're working on the system, and you're getting closer to the goals. Habit formation is one of the most important things when you're trying to achieve any sort of fitness or lifestyle goals. If you can't master a habit, if you can't master the technique of picking something out that you can do every day and make it a habit, you're not gonna achieve any goals. It is the most important part of all this. You can have the best intentions in the world. You can have the best plans. You can have a perfect 
workout schedule done out and you know you might do it for a week or two doesn't matter if you do it for a week or two that's great but if you never do it again the whole exercise is pointless if you stick to an achievable goal make it a habit and do it over a long period of time you'll get there remember kids wave at your bus drivers hey buddy bus drivers are great especially at the moment still just taking away on the front line getting everybody from a to b got to wave at your bus drivers try it seriously try it like you're out walking next time see a bus give him a wave it'll make his day he'll he'll feel a little more appreciated nice thing to do it is mental health awareness month so if you want to look up the two charities i was talking about at the start mental health ireland and jigsaw check them out if you want to donate donate no pressure just a nice idea thanks for watching this has been the first mindset on the move video so if you like the look of it make sure you subscribe leave a like comment if you want to chat and i'll see you in the next video